This video will show you how to create your own referencing style in EndNote. Say you're doing an assignment and the assignment requires you to use a referencing style that is not featured inside or cannot be found inside EndNote already. So here we have the Harvard referencing style which is adapted for the specific assignment. It can also be for a journal, specific journal. You have to adapt an article's references. And here we know what the in-text citation should look like, as well as what the reference list references in the reference list should look like. Now, um, let's say this is my assignment, and I have a reference list here. Now, currently, I'm using the Harvard method, and you can see that it looks quite different to from what I'm supposed to use for the assignment reference list here. Now, you can open EndNote. Go to Edit, Output Styles, Edit Harvard. Now here yeah, you have the Citations tab and the Bibliography tab. And you can play around with all these functions. And as you change something, just make sure that you save it. Save as Harvard Copy. Let's say Harvard uh, is a B, which is our a modified version and now you can play around let's start off with the reference list here we have the templates and we know our assignment requires us not to have an idolized journal name it should not be idolized and and I found that in the templates and we also know that for example the author lists uh, author name should not all be in uppercase. Maybe you can change that there. Then we also don't want initials before between the. Um, we not, don't want full stops between the initials, and that we can change here. And let's save it for now, and we go on to our document, and let's choose our. Select another style. choose a Harvard what did we say Harvard SAJP modified version now we update it and we can see already we have made a lot of progress now I can still see there's a comma here that needs to be removed it's too many um, full stops and commas used in the citations and all that we can change so let's go under citations and we do not want a full stop after the et als, so we can change that and save. Let's go back and we update and let's see what we come up with. Ah, here yeah, you can see that's removed. And so you go on, work through the features and test it as you go along. And I hope this helped create your own styles will make your life much much easier. If you found this video helpful smash the like button. For more useful tips to boost your research experience subscribe to my channel by clicking the subscribe button below this video. If you need a solution to a challenge not yet covered on my channel leave a comment in the box below. See you in the next video.